What's up, YouTube? Chris of Sport Tech Geeks, bringing you something a little different today. Uh, I am going to do an unboxing and a installation of a Cool Reel tempered glass screen protector for my Xperia Z3 I just picked up from T-Mobile. I've read the reviews on these. The reviews on these are fantastic. There's a million videos on YouTube for this, um, but there's not one for the Z3 yet. At least they haven't specified if it was or not. Uh, I did not get endorsed by Cool Reel. I did not get this sent by Cool Reel for free. I had to pay for this myself off Amazon, and like the other reviewers. So I'll give you an actual review because <laughs> if I don't like it, I'll tell you. It is. But judging from the reviews, I heard this is really good. This is actually a little thicker than the other ones. Most tempered glasses are about point. 0.024 millimeters. This one's 0 0.033 or 0 0.33 or something like that, um, which is a little thicker, but I'm hoping it's going to be stronger for my Xperia Z3. Just picked it from T-Mobile. Uh, if you didn't, let my last video, I mentioned that T-Mobile stopped selling this for a while, and they brought it back and dropped it down $130, which is good enough for me to buy it. Man, a feek. And uh, I've been playing it for a couple days, and I actually really, really like this thing so far. Sorry, I just activated the tap to wake. And hope that doesn't happen during my uh, installation video. We'll put the phone aside for now. And I'll work on this. This was a uh, scratch proof, explosion proof. I'm not going to test scratching or explosions. You want to see someone else scratch their screen? Go right on ahead. There's another YouTube video. But <laughs> uh, explosion proof. No idea why they would write that there, but it sounds cool. Uh, it's got some kind of coating on it for fingerprints and stuff, so it should be anti-fingerprint. And the Xperia Z3 is a fingerprint magnet, and I really wish they had a different color, like white or copper would have been really nice, um, but they don't for these. And this has a uh, rating of 9 uh, for hard, uh, hardness. It's 1 through 10. The higher the number, the harder the screen is supposed to be. So uh, without any further ado, I'm going to open this puppy up. I'm going to turn it upside down for a minute because the opening's on this side. Uh, so yeah, let's go from there. Use my cheap Walmart steak knife. You can knock Walmart all you want. They make cheap stuff that works just fine. All right. Let's get rid of this. Oh, now if I didn't mention, this is my first tempered glass thing ever. I've never done one of these. I've always had the cheap plastic ones, but if you open up the box, oh, here's the front of it, obviously. Uh, you open the box. You have, uh, looks like it's uh, instructions. It's actually right on the box. It's pretty neat. Uh, we got two packets here. I'll open one at a time and see what happens. I think one's for tools, one's actually for the uh, screen itself. And if you read the instructions, they're actually pretty clear. Uh, clean the screen, pull off the label, stick it on there. Good stuff. You can pause the video if you need to or zoom in or whatever it is you want to do. There, there, there. Okay. I'm going to turn it back upside down because I need to read the instructions thoroughly because I don't really know. Never done one of these before. So, got that. All right, let's open the first pack and see what we got here. I got one little more. Da, 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 da. Let's put the phone out of the way for now. We got wipes for cleaning. We have a microfiber cloth for cleaning, and we have a dust sticker for cleaning of the dust. And here, what we got here? The dusting cleaning film replacement pulling tag. Now this yellow tag right here, so when if you do have one of the old plasticky uh, screen taggers on there, you take this, stick it on there, and it should pull away just fine. Um, just make sure you do it from a corner, because you do it somewhere else, it's not going to work. So um, There's that. And on the second pouch, let's open that puppy up, see what we got. Aha, the screen protector. I'm hoping it is really nice. Huh, that is pretty nice. Look at that. It is a little flexible though. Um, but uh, you know, if it's on a flat surface, it's not going to get flexible because it's going to adhere, hopefully, to the phone just fine. Yeah, let's see here. The side one. Peel off this and ask before application. Okay. So it's just. Oh, okay. So it's just one sticker. Most of the plastic ones have have the sticker, a stamp on both sides. All right, so let's continue. Start with the cleaning real quick. Let's use the wipes. Would be wipe. Oh, no, this is wipes, plural. So maybe there's more than one. 
Oh, there's only one that's false advertising. Oh, bad. That's a bad news already. Man. No, we didn't take it. We moved that off. Hmm. Smells like candy. I'm not sure why. Alright, clean that up nice and good like. Should be nice and pretty. Set that to the side. Use your microfiber cloth. I've only done the plasticky ones, but usually in the plasticky ones, I usually get the uh, <laughs> three or four tries. This one I got one, so hopefully I don't mess this up. All right, make sure I check for dust. I don't see any. It's actually a very clean phone. Uh, Sony did a great job designing this phone. So see there, you don't see any dust on there, but just for shits and giggles, I'm just going to take the dust paper here, the blue stuff, to make sure there's no dust particles that I may have missed. Uh, this would be a little easier, but it's not working out so hot. Ah, there it goes. Alright, it's just a piece of plastic that helps remove any dust. There we go. Oh, it's half the weight, damn it. No! Alright, I should have turned that feature off before I started this video, huh? Alright, let me hit the button there and we'll shut it off. And uh, don't worry about my theme back there. I was just experimenting on the Play Store with a bunch of themes. There's a lot of themes to the Xperia Z3. That one was a little cartoony, but uh, it's not bad. I kind of like it. All right, so you got to peel this side off to expose the adhesive. And the good thing about tempered glass, there's an adhesive on here, so when you do put it on, there's not going to be any air gaps or anything weird about it. So it shouldn't come off easily, unlike the rubbery, plasticky ones. Um, that has come out for other things. Uh, so let me peel this off here. And I kind of like to not take the whole thing off at first. I like to start to align it and then peel it off because I don't like fingerprints on my screen. And uh, having fat fingers like I do, you may squeeze the side here, but your, your finger's gonna touch the bottom there. And, but that may be just be me. All right, hopefully my head's not in the video, sorry. I'm trying to make sure I got one shot. So I think I have one shot. Uh, let's go there. Let's go there. I'm gonna peel this off here and hopefully it'll line up just fine. Yeah, see how it's just it's adhering just fine. Yeah, see, there's no bubbles, and if you do have any bubbles, you just swipe it down with the microfiber cloth, and it should be good to go. It actually looks really nice. I can barely tell it's there. Actually, I can't really tell it's there unless you look really closely. And uh, I'm not seeing it. It's looking good. I think I may be off the mark just by a little bit. But it's not very significant to me. The holes seem big enough to work. Uh, I still got a little bit of an air bubble there. Let's take care of that there. I'm not sure it's an air bubble or the EC not sticking right. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, Ah, see, I did miss it because it's not exactly screen to screen, edge to edge here. Uh, it's a little far off, a little, a little off, but it's uh, it'll still work for all intensive purposes. Now, let's try this thing with a case because uh, it's supposed to work for a case, but I'm still one of the old school guys who like to have a, a belt clip. Um, not because I'm trying to show a status symbol or what people tell me about. Uh, I like to have a belt clip. It's just convenient because my pockets are full, I have stuff I keep in my pockets, and now I got a work phone to worry about, and I don't really want to clang two phones together. So I like to have a belt clip, and uh, we'll see if the belt clip works for this. Let's slap this uh, on here. I got this little case from T-Mobile for $15, it was on sale. You know, cause they, those guys usually want $30 for their phones and the cases, which is ridiculous for anybody. I usually laugh them out to the face, but yeah, see, case fits just fine on that one, actually. Now the question is, is it going to fit in the attached belt clip here? And I'm thinking not. It, yeah, well, it actually might. Uh, we'll see. Let me put it on there. We'll work on it. Let's try to slide in there. Ah, what do you know? Works just fine. Slid in there perfectly. Because I, I was worried about that before I installed this because I thought it wasn't going to slide in. And it seems to work perfectly. And I'm enjoying it. It looks really nice. 
put it on there, good to go. So that was the installation instructions in this video. Um, you know, you don't have to be perfect on it. I wasn't perfect, I was a little high. Yeah, but close enough, I'm not exactly the best at doing this. Um, oh, I do have one other case here I was gonna show you real quick for the Xperia, and uh, I wanted to talk about that. Let me get this, try to get this case off. I had trolled earlier trying to get it off before I put the screen protector on. Give me a second off camera. Got it off there, and now there's my Xperia with the new screen protector on it. And now I have a cheap plasticky one I got from Amazon. Uh, it's it's one of Amazon's new add-on items. So if you spend over twenty-five dollars, you can get this for two dollars and eighty-six cents. Uh, I think it's new. To me, it's new, anyways. And I think they started it because, if you might have noticed recently, that that Amazon started charging taxes. Uh, for their products because uh, the brick and mortar places were complaining that they don't have to pay taxes and that's why they're losing business. And yeah, that's part of it. And I can understand their gripe. But the brick and mortar places need to learn to not charge so much because some of their prices are outrageous. Uh, take T-Mobile, brick and mortar, $3 for a case, which cost me, uh, this one cost me $3 on Amazon. They want $30. So they kind of did it themselves and I'm kind of opposed to having to pay taxes to Amazon because taxes are a state thing. Amazon's based in California. I'm in Florida. I shouldn't have to pay California taxes, so that's where my gripe is for that. But I'm going off on a tangent, like I do with most of my videos. Uh, so we're gonna go skip that, and we're gonna kill this $2.89. I will put a link in the description if you really like this thing. I just got it for a temporary case until I got my uh, Matomo I ordered off eBay. But uh, yeah, it said aluminum, like for $2.89, it's not aluminum. Because it's not, it's it's plasticky and it's supposed to look like aluminum, and it really doesn't. It looks like chrome and garbage. It is, ugh. But for three dollars, this is actually not bad. Let's go install this real quick. See if it works with the case. I'm sure it does. You know, put the power button in first because it does protrude a little more on the Xperia Z3 than on the other side. And that's it. Just a cute little case. I'm gonna. <laughs> get rid of it before I go to work tomorrow because <laughs> I have a reputation to protect. Um, so that was it. Thank you for watching my unboxing video. Sorry I didn't use this. I didn't feel the need to use these stickers. Uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, tell me, give me suggestions, anything you want to see next. I do have a couple more things on the docket next. I am going to do a review for my Xperia uh, Z3. I am going to do a Nyko uh, PS4 charging dock uh, review as well. Oh, one thing I forgot to say that most people want to look for here, besides that it looks good, is that it is responsive. I'm sorry, I've I've lost hand in there. Yeah, I don't feel any difference, um, but the screen does feel smoother. Uh, the Xperia Z3 screen originally, I felt like my finger was sticking, and now I don't feel that sensation at all. It actually feels really nice. I'm glad I bought this, and uh, it was on sale. I got it for six dollars. Uh, I think it's usually seventeen dollars for this, but uh, this one I got for six dollars. It's really nice. And sorry I mentioned that before I did my exit uh, phrase, but like, comment, subscribe, suggest. I'm always up for suggestions. Uh, tell me if you liked it. If you don't like it, don't like. Uh, put, give me a thumbs down, and tell me at the bottom why you didn't like it, what I did wrong. Um, and I'm more than happy to fix it. I'm just trying to get better at this. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Chris Sport Tech Geeks, and I'll see you guys in the future.